autism is uh, to a very significant extent uh, a genetic uh, condition in the sense that there are many genes that when mutated so when their sequence uh, is changed uh, can cause autism of these hundreds of genes we focus in this study on one uh, called chd8 a gene that uh, regulates other genes uh, and that is one uh, of the most uh, frequent genes uh, that are responsible for autism and we studied it in brain organoids that are miniature experimental systems uh, that reproduce uh, in vitro uh, some of the fundamental features of how the human brain uh, develops in vivo and we wanted to understand over time uh, how actually the, the mutations in this gene uh, cause uh, the uh, condition the amazing part of this study is not only the uh, use of organoids that recapitulate uh, the in vivo counterpart but also a specific mutation uh, in the organ itself uh, that mimic uh, the clinical uh, uh, um, phenotype that we see in the patient itself uh, and uh, study the organ at the single cell level we can identify and pinpoint uh, exactly in which uh, neuronal population we can actually see the result of this mutation. Indeed, uh, by using uh, single cell approaches, we were able to pinpoint effects uh, of uh, CHD8 mutations uh, that were cell type specific. And we observed uh, a slowdown in the differentiation of uh, excitatory neurons that was uh, mirrored by an acceleration of uh, inhibitory neuron uh, development. And also we observed uh, different uh, pattern of alternative splicing that uh, is a way for the uh, cell to uh, generate different proteins from the same gene. And we will now expand uh, on this line of research in Human Technopol uh, because this benchmarks the possibility to follow over time uh, with a very high resolution what are the consequences of these mutations. So what we have now done for CHD8 in this wonderful collaboration with the team of Gaia Novarino at the Austrian Institute of Technology in Vienna, it will now be implemented for uh, many more such uh, uh, genes uh, to study what are uh, the hubs of convergence, namely the shared uh, dysregulation among all of these various forms of autism that can hopefully be targeted with new therapies.